a call to prayer at one of the many prayer grounds in Nigeria's capital Abuja. Here, as elsewhere in the world, Muslim worshippers are engaging in a dawn to sunset fast, abstaining from food and water. They say the holy month of Ramadan is a time for prayer and peaceful coexistence. You must be a custodian of peace and you are learning how to be peaceful during the month of Ramadan. When Ramadan goes, the peaceful nature which you have learned, you should begin to apply them in our life. During the month of Ramadan, we cater for each other. We break the fast and share food with Muslims and even non-Muslims. During Ramadan, all Muslims come together to pray for the nation. We also pray for our Christian brothers and sisters. Statistics show that about half of Nigeria's 190 million population is Muslim. In the northern part of Nigeria, Muslims make up the majority. And that's also where the activities of militant groups like Boko Haram remain a major concern. According to Global Terrorism Index, the radical extremist group has killed tens of thousands of people and displaced over 2.3 million more since the start of its attacks in 2009. Some therefore believe Islamic clerics should use the holy month of Ramadan to teach their followers to embrace the unity of Nigeria and distance the religion from Boko Haram. It's an opportunity for Muslim leaders, clerics, mainstream Muslim authorities, influential. They are found everywhere, in the cities, in the villages, they are very influential. They must begin to use their influence to redirect the people's consciousness towards Nigeria as a country. There's nothing inconsistent with Islamic faith and Nigerian citizenship. They must hammer on the fact that Muslims should begin to realize that Nigeria is their geographic space, Nigeria is their reality, and that there is no global Islamic state. Senior Islamic clerics in Nigeria also say it's important to note that most of the victims of Boko Haram are Muslims. If you go to Maduguri Centre now, you pick 10 people, the probability is that you are carrying between 8 to 10 Muslims. So you just kill there, and you should know that it is the Muslims they are killing. If everybody sees themselves as brothers and sisters, then we we'll live like a family, and peace will reign, prosperity will come, victory will be our own. The Nigerian government has pledged to continue to address the root causes of terrorism. In the meantime, it has improved security surveillance around worship places like this, where Ramadan prayers and teachings of peace will be ongoing over the next few weeks. Phil Ihaza, CGTN, Abuja, Nigeria.